it's Joy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing the AGTube New Year's tag that was originally started by Alley Cat Loves AG. So this tag has been around for at least a year by now and I know it's kind of late because it's way past New Year's but it's also way past Christmas and I haven't posted my Christmas stop motion yet. So we're getting both of them late. You guys are just gonna have to <laughs> just yeah, I don't know, just be patient. I'm, it's taking me a long time, and so, especially since we started school, it's been a lot slower. I have two scenes left for my Christmas stop motion. Hopefully that'll be out next week, that's the plan. Anyway, um, let's get started with the questions. So, the first question is, how many subscribers have you gained this year? So, referring to 2021, by the way, not this year as in like 2022, but I, 2021 still feels like this year, so. <laughs> but how many subscribers have I gained in 2021? So I gained about 260 subscribers in 2021, which is crazy considering I, I wasn't even at like, I would think I was at like 300 or something last year. So, or less. So I almost like, I just about doubled what I did last year, which is crazy. And then uh, the second question is how many videos did you post this year? This year was kind of a slow year for me. I posted 37 videos out of the, I think there's 50, 52 weeks in the year. Um, I am planning to post a lot more this year. I have more videos scheduled and planned out and I am hoping to find more time to film stop motions because those are my favorite to film. And they usually do the best on my channel anyway. So I'd like to film more stop motions, but they take a lot of time and with school, I don't have near as much time as I did in summer. But we'll see. I'm hoping to post a lot more consistently this year. So hopefully that'll also help my channel grow. The third question is, what was your most viewed video of 2021? So my most viewed video was about the 35th anniversary dolls. And it's called, which 35th anniversary historicals are worth buying? So I did this video because I thought um, I had looked at getting some of the dolls myself. And I basically talked to myself through that process of deciding which one to get. So, I thought it might be helpful to share it for everyone who is considering buying a 35th anniversary doll. And uh, I don't know how many people actually used it to help decide which one to get, because if you're getting it just because it's a rare doll, then you're going to want to get it either way. But people still view that video even though they're not even available anymore. So I don't know, I guess maybe it's an interesting informational video, but yeah, it has most views um, I don't, it's not quite the most viewed video on my channel, but usually videos that have to do with new releases or new dolls and or leaks tend to do really well, so I, I'm very glad that that, <laughs> that video did well. Um, the fourth question is, name three AGTubers that you subscribed to in 2021. So I subscribed to a lot of AGTubers last year, and it's crazy how there's always more, like it always seems like there's more HTubers to find and more, especially on AGIG too, there's a ton of people. Um, but three HTubers who specifically stood out this year, and I was able to find a lot more because I was doing the best of AGTube, but three that I found are, um, first off, Little Bird Studios. She has amazing stop motions and her, like she posts really consistently too, so her videos are great. Um, so I would definitely recommend checking out her channel, and she's still a pretty small AGTuber too. She started about a year before me, but her channel's actually smaller, and I don't understand how that happens, but we gotta get her to more subscribers, because she definitely deserves more. The second channel is Moon Dolls, and she also does amazing stop motions, and she also posts really consistently. Uh, I am friends with all three of these channels as well that I've mentioned, so in the past year, I found their channel and started to get to know them a little bit, so that was really cool. Uh, so, Moon Dolls, Little Bird Studios, and the third one is m and Studios. This channel is run by twin sisters, and they have an amazing channel and are still working on growing it, but they definitely deserve more subscribers. The fourth question, er, the fifth question is, what was your biggest accomplishment of 2021 on AGTube? So, first off, I reached 500 subscribers in 2021, which was crazy. And then I got to 700 by the end of the year. So I got 500 and 700 subscribers in the same year, which was crazy. Um, and those are two really big milestones that I was super happy to reach. And um, I, yeah, I feel like that's probably the biggest accomplishment of that year is the subscriber goals. I didn't 
I didn't really do a, a ton of other stuff since, like I said, I wasn't super consistent with filming and posting, but that was amazing. Uh, the next question is, what was your favorite video that you posted in 2021? So I actually have two of the videos that I enjoyed the most. The first one is the sleepover, which I posted almost about a year ago now, which is crazy. Um, and then the second video is called Kit's Critter Collection. And I've actually been told recently that a lot of people really enjoyed it and that's one of their favorite videos that I posted. And I think it's kind of funny because it was a super random idea and I didn't even really plan it too much. And I filmed it pretty fast too, but it was a really fun video to film and it had a lot of movements, which I was just really proud in how they came out. It's funny because as an age YouTuber, you'll do a movement like in that video, I had her jump up to put something on the top bunk of her bed. And in the sleepover AGSM, I had two that I was proud of. I had one of my dolls throw a basketball and then I had another, or dribble and throw a basketball. And then I had another one of my dolls step off of a skateboard. And those were both two really smooth movements that I was very proud of when they were done. Um, and just those two stop motions were really fun to film in general. The seventh question is, what is your YouTube goal for 2022? So I think that it is possible for us to get to a thousand, a thousand subscribers in 2022. I really, really hope that we can do it. And I think if I post consistently and continue to work on the quality of my videos and stuff like that, that we can definitely do it. So yeah, that's, that's my YouTube goal for 2022, honestly. And then maybe next year we can get, or like, yeah, 2023, maybe we could get monetized. Like, I don't know if I'm ever gonna get to that since my videos are usually pretty short, so watch time is down really low. But we'll see, maybe I'll start posting longer videos and then possibly getting monetized. That'd be crazy. But let's just focus on um, 1,000 subscribers first. That'd be amazing. The eighth question is, what is your next YouTube purchase going to be? So I just bought the camera that this video is being filmed on. It's a Canon Rebel T5. I, yeah, Canon Rebel T5i, and it has different lenses and stuff that it came with, so I'm still working on figuring that out. And I don't think I'm gonna be purchasing anything new for my YouTube, ch oh, I'd probably get a clicker for the camera, a shutter release button. Um, but other than that, like as for like a big YouTube purchase, the next thing I'll probably get would be like a green screen or something, because I would like to try out green screen in some of my stop motions, and I don't have one now, so. Yeah, probably, well, the first thing would be a shutter release button and then probably a green screen. The ninth question is, what will your next doll be? So I was really close to getting Yvette or Corinne when I went to the American Girl store most recently. Um, although I also have Marie Grace eyes that I really wanna customize in a Truly Me 64, but I don't wanna get a new one, so I'd probably get her used. Um, so I don't know. I feel like it could be any of the dolls on my wish list, honestly. Uh, and I'll be making a video showing you guys my wish list soon. But, uh, honestly, potentially even Lainey or Mia. But other than them, uh, I wrote down that my next doll might be Yvette, Corinne, or Truly Me 64. Those are probably the most likely. But, you know, if I find a good price on one of the other dolls on my wish list, that might be the next doll instead. And the last question, number 10, is what is the biggest YouTube lesson that you learned in 2021? So, I feel like being consistent in posting really helps, like, your channel grow. And like I said before, I'm really hoping to be more consistent in posting this year. I already have videos planned for the rest of January and part of February, including my really long overdue Christmas stop motion. It's more of a winter stop motion at this point, and although it is Christmas themed. Um, <laughs> and then also a collab with another H YouTuber that has been in the works for months at this point. So I'm really excited to get those two out finally. They've both been long overdue and highly anticipated by <laughs> those making them uh, and anyone who we've told about it. And yeah, I don't know, I feel like posting consistently, I definitely noticed a spike in my views and how consistent people were on my channel if I posted consistently. So I'm hoping to continue posting consistently the rest of this year and We'll see, maybe it might end up being every other week um, if school if school becomes a lot 
but we're kind of getting close to summer already even though it's only the beginning of second semester it always seems to go by fast so for the rest of the school year there may be a point where I have to post every other week but for the most part as long as it's consistent I am planning on posting hopefully for the rest of January and part of February it should be every week but after that we'll see if I have to switch to every other week but um yeah that's the end of the questions, uh, I didn't really see anyone else like specifically tagging people even though that's what you're supposed to do, but I feel like most people have already done this tag so I'm not going to tag anyone, but if you guys see this idea and you want to do it, go for it. The questions will be in the description and you guys can just film it and answer it on your channel. It's not too late to go and film it, I think it's a great way to go and look back at what you did the year before in a brief like summary, that way you don't have to go be searching through your analytics or whatever to try to find what you did the year before. So, and like, ideas change too, so seeing what I say would be my next doll compared to my actual next doll would be cool, um, stuff like that. So, if you guys want to do it, it's not too late, I would say still, still post it and I think it's really fun, at least just for yourself to look back on. But if you guys stayed till the end, thank you a lot. It means a lot to me. Um, I know the videos might always be the most interesting, but hopefully you enjoyed this one. And I will see you guys next week with hopefully my Christmas stop motion. I am really hoping I can get it filmed in time. time. I have two more scenes and I think I can get them done. We'll see. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!